Hello everyone, welcome on back to Compton Farm. Alright, so we got the uh, vent here, it's all set up for some spraying. All these snowmen out and about now. Try not to hit it. So this is going to that field over there. We just got it all sprayed for weeds last month. So we are now uh, well, getting the fertilizer all the way up. This is all the fertilizer we have. I filled up the uh, planter all the way. So, uh, And the partial cotton bale that we got from last month, I think I'm going to put that into the clothing factory. You'll eas easily have enough, you know, time to run out because right now we are running out of wool like every day by the next morning it'll be ran out then I'll put more in so I think a nice cotton bale in there wouldn't be too bad I did see we're up to like eighty thousand dollars of clothes in there at max price so it's it's doing pretty good I haven't really had any complaints about it at least Yeah, next month I'm not 100% sure what we'll end up doing because we'll definitely won't have harvesting. Um, have to be the month after that. That field would be ready, I think. So, it would be January. We'd have enough time to do some grass and make silage out of it. The only concern would obviously be, would we have, uh, the money-wise, would it be worth it? Because it's going to be at the worst possible price. The The time, if we start next month and we do it, time-wise it should all ferment by then. Um, I could... I think there's a silage bunker over here actually so we could actually cut it and use what we already have and you know get it picked up and put into there it would definitely be not too bad it wouldn't cost us too much we still have to get the uh, the mower and everything but let's try not to double spray too much here So we'll get this turned around. Yeah, I'm not sure if I'll get the bale over there right away, but I'll definitely... I'll get it over there at some point. I'll let them go off, do their own thing. Yeah, this is already over here. Yeah, there is a, a bunker over here. Not sure what is in this silo, though. Appears to be wheat. And wheat was supposed to go to the general store, which I believe is like right up here, right? Yeah. That did look... I'm not sure if I'll keep this planter. I know... If we're really able to push and get that first field done, we'd probably have enough time to get sorghum in. It's like, I could... It looks like it's planting all the way to the edge. I could replant it, but then we'd be having a rush right in the last month. It really depends on if we can even get that field harvested in a month. Hard to say. That's not a that's not a small field. Really not. I'm sure, you know, if you start right at the start, you could probably finish it. If you keep up with it. And you know, you could start planting ahead of that, so. And even, you know, if we plant it and we only get half the field done and harvested and 
in the you know, allotted time. That's still more than what we would have had normally, so... I guess there's really not much of a negative to it. I may return this, though, and get a different one. Different planter, and, while well, this tractor's rented. Uh, something a little bit smaller we could put on one of the John Deere tractors. Maybe it's a little bit of money there. And really, if we start it while we're still harvesting it, kind of a super big deal. It's, you know, done super fast. Although, I think that would finish, like, May, June would be ready. But yeah, we definitely wouldn't want to wait too long, like into into February. I don't think that would put us pretty late. I'm pretty sure <laughs> to a point where it's kind of a risky. You know, you're harvesting in the last month. I'm thinking I'll probably take most of the money we make today. I'm just going to put it towards paying off the loan, just so we have a less of an interest. Probably not going to be that much less interest, because right now I interest about three grand a month. Three, three and a half. It wouldn't take a lot off of it, but every little bit you know, kind of counts. No matter what, we're going to have to pay it off by the end. If there wasn't a rule that you had to pay off your debt, then, I mean, you could just take millions of dollars in debt and just say hey I made three billion dollars in reality it's three billion dollars in debt I think that's like an unwritten rule honestly <laughs> I don't think I really need to say that's a rule to have it as a rule well, we'll send them off once we're done selling, we will have a little extra barley, too, though. Because we do have almost 10,000 liters in the trailer outside of the chickens. That'll just be something we'll hold on to and sell right at the end. I do have to say, this, uh, this map, I have quite enjoyed it. I've always wanted to play on it, so it's you know finally able to come true. It definitely gives gives some heavy like court farm feel, which kind of expected. Um, obviously, court farm is a newer map from Oxygen David, but you can definitely tell they're made by the same person. $62,000 from that. I will quickly rush back, grab the rest of the wheat. All right, we're back. Last load of wheat. We can probably get one load of barley done, then we'll probably have to hop over and refill the drill with seeds and fertilizer because it is it's getting pretty low that is twenty four and a half thousand dollars we'll have to hop back and start grabbing some barley that'll be two loads as well I think there's like ninety some liters of that ninety some thousand liters of that Alright, so I think I'll probably take it away from here. As soon as I take control, I start missing pieces. That sounds about right. We will go and fill it up on some seeds and some fertilizer. We'll need more than what's in the sprayer. So, I think it'll just be worth just going and filling it up. Honestly, all the way. Uh, do we need it all the way? It would be pretty close, I think. Pretty close. Looks like I missed some here.
All right, so that is all herbicide, so we do not want that. We'll pick up our one liter of seeds. Oh, it was two. <laughs> so we'll grab 2,000 liters of that. And pallets for this. We'll buy two. Oh boy. <laughs> Which one is the fertilizer? I think that would just about fill it up, and that should finish that field. Probably half done. Yeah, it's probably about half done. It's starting to get longer strips, but probably about half. Oh, let's, um, this should be Field. Yep. Let's take this down to the road. We can send it down towards the cell point via a worker. Or at least, you know, doing doing something with this, getting stuff sold. Not sure how well it's gonna work, because I know these are some pretty tight roads. So I'm sure. I'm sure the workers might have some troubles. Hopefully they don't have too many. And, and these are going to All Spheres store. Yeah, that's you can see it's it's about max price. So let's mark it on the map. I was gonna say, I think it's down here. It is. So let's have this great job go to let's we'll have it go down here should just be a straight shot basically target is unreachable <laughs> I said it was a straight shot but I guess to them that means unreachable I think I'll buy one more bag of seeds Of course, that spawns up here. Kind of hoping I was going to get to do some of the, the planting, but... Kind of appears I may not get, get to be able to do some. I've yet to explore this part of the map much. Really, at all. Finally be able to make it down this direction. Okay, we take a left here. A lot of weight back there. You can really feel it on when you're trying to slow down and stuff. No, no, you're trying to pick up speed. Really feel it on the hill. Hey, look, a collectible. Of course, we're not picking those up, so... That was a really steep hill. <laughs> and really slow for us, but... Ooh, a little, uh, like, forestry area there. Not sure if it's really something you can buy, but... Well, this is the really big cotton field. I'm trying to zoom out and see it, but... Oh, that is... that is massive. There's a contract for that right now, actually. It's 50 acres, I believe, the whole field. That is a massive field. Like a $30,000 contract. Like, I'm sure you'd get a lot from the extra, but... Actually, I think I have the contract mod on, so we can actually look how much extra we could get. If it's still available. Looks like the animal dealer must be down here as well. We have to open this too. The answer is yes. All 
All right, first load being sold. Let's take a look at that. So details, it is this one. So we would be estimating at making a total of $83,000. So we, we can keep 12,000 liters. This is a really awesome mod. The, I think it's like Contracts Plus or something. Okay, $57,000 there. I believe it's Contracts Plus. I might be wrong, but... Either way, it's a really good mod, so... Well, we'll start heading back down to take a look at how the uh, planter is doing. Alright, let's get this filled up the last little bit. Check this out. Yeah. There's still a decent amount left even once we come back, I think. And this is almost full. Yep. I'll head right on back to, was it All Spheres? I already forgot the, the name of the place. Yeah, we can't go that way to underneath that, in that shed area with the door. The trailer don't fit. I, I tried it a while ago. It, it doesn't fit. Well, we're getting pretty close to the selling point. I'm sure this will be another probably 46,000, somewhere right around there. We can probably... Take good two hundred thousand off the loan is my guess. That'll still give us a decent amount of money to play with. Uh, maybe we'll do like a hundred and eighty, because we still need money to obviously operate the farm. So, Let's see if my guess is right. Might have been wrong, but I think I was wrong in the right direction. Yeah, 50,000. Yeah, I think we might... We might do 200,000. It's hard to say. We really don't have a lot of money coming in, so... Got a lot of money coming out, but not a lot of money coming in. There might be more cotton to be turned into clothes, too. I'm just being a little cautious with making sure it'll be cleared out by, by you know, what, July. I don't want there to be a bunch of cotton left in there, so. We're kind of just testing the waters with the current one. We'll see how long it, you know, how much it goes through into next month, and I can kind of decide, okay, can we do a full bale by that time? Well, I'll do a time lapse. We'll quickly finish up this field here. I'll talk to everyone once the uh, time lapse is done. Just like that, we're on the last strip here. Oh, I missed some. <laughs> well, it's not the last strip anymore, so. Let's probably uh, get all these small bits finished. Because, you know, right now they they look pretty small, but all of a sudden when it comes to harvest, you're like, what the heck happened here? We missed large chunks. I think there's some mist down there as well. We'll get those. Then we'll probably grab, I'll we'll bring this up to the farm here. Get the seeds and everything unloaded. And we'll probably return the tractor and the planter. No use really keeping them both.
I know um, the harvesting will be soon-ish. Actually, I just realized that the harvest would be February. That would be a tight time for for uh, put sorghum in. Like I'm sure we'd have most of the seats and stuff already, so we wouldn't be risking you know, a lot of money. The tree there, hoping I could just scoot by by the tractor in the trees, but I guess not. So it's a little bit of a risk, but not much. And you know, if it is ready July, maybe we don't finish the entire field. That is, you know, a complete possibility. We'd put more priority into finishing other things. Such as, you know, you know, if this field is being harvested, which come what may, June it will be. And it could very possibly bleed into July. Definitely a little, little interesting little predicament here. I think uh, we may not get the same planter. Maybe there's a smaller one. I'd have to look. Um, if it has solid fertilizer, we'd probably just do it so we'd have to do two things of liquid for spraying. Because it would be a little cheaper. We wouldn't be out a lot if it doesn't pan out. But still, that possibility of not, not getting anything from it is definitely would be high. Yeah, I think next month we might be doing some sort of silage. I might check out that one forest, which looks like it really doesn't look that it gets that much. Uh, we can spray. Spawn here and just run up the road. But it doesn't look like there's that many trees compared to like what the map shows. And we definitely don't have enough time to plant our own, so... I know in Monette I did forestry. We could do some sort of silage, which I think we'd make less, to be honest, than what we did in forestry. But we would have to buy this, I'm sure. Yeah. There's a decent amount of trees in here. We would definitely clear this pretty, pretty heavily. I don't know. What's, what's the price of silage? Five seventies. Yeah, we'd be selling in like June, which would be the worst. It's not too far off. I mean, if we're being honest, more likely we'll we would just try and sell it as soon as it is ready, because you know it'll just start going down. So if it's ready, you know, to be sold in May, we'll sell it in May. I think we might do that. I haven't decided how I'll do it. Whether it be through the silage bunker or whether, you know, we have this field to mow and we may. I might buy like eight. How much is eight? 138,000. That's a lot of money. Those really aren't that large of fields, to be honest, either. How much is 10? 230,000. The thing is, how would the rule go where we have to replant it? Because it's grass. I didn't think that part through. The general rule of thumb is I want to at least put some sort of effort and money back into it. That's kind of what my thought is. We have to put work in. Uh, more than just harvesting it. Um, 
Well, what we could do... These are not fertilized at all. Um, we could say we have to fertilize it one layer. That would be something. We'd have to put some money into it. I don't know. I, I'd ask, you know, you can put your thoughts in the comments, but the thing is, I'll already be past that by the time this comes up, I think. Well, I probably won't have, like, the last couple months recorded by the time this goes up, so. Yeah. So, yeah, that is everything for today. Thank you, everyone, for watching, which I just remembered. I will return this right now. Return the New Holland before I forget. And the planter. There we have it. Okay. All right. So, yeah. Thank you everyone for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Hope to see you in the next video. Bye.